Hi guys, my name is Mikey and for today's video, I will be talking to you guys about what I do as an admin on a daily basis. This does vary per position, per company, what projects you're assigned, and even my daily task changes every day just because I don't have the exact same cases or the same projects. I hope this gives you guys some insights on what an admin does on a daily basis and let's get to it! I start my morning by checking my email and my Slack messages. On my email, I look out for any flow errors internal users might have received while we were offline. Since our company has staff everywhere, there are people using Salesforce almost all the time, even when the admins are not online. So it's really good for us to look into these flow errors to show some historical data on what may have happened, what errors people have received, what might have triggered those, and if it happened enough times where us admins should do something about it as soon as possible. I also check my email for any Salesforce updates. For Salesforce update for summer 2023 release, I am making sure that I am prepared for what's to come when the enforcement is going to happen on our instance and stuff that an admin should know in regards to new features coming our way. I check my Slack messages in regards to urgent issues users usually need help with if they feel like a case escalation process will not be sufficient in regards to their situation. People usually message me on Slack so that I can help them as soon as possible. From there, I also check my cases from previous days if I received any responses. Usually, I email the stakeholder asking for some context in regards to their request so that I make sure we are addressing the issue. So for example, for a case that I closed this morning, I emailed the stakeholder asking for context in regards to why they wanted to create this particular validation rule for this opportunity. And then they responded with enough details so that I was able to create that validation rule. So in the morning, I usually just try to make sure that all the cases on my Kanban view are actually the cases I will be working on. And if there are cases that can be closed, I make sure that they're not there so that my case management is clean. I also check for any code approvals where an admin might be needed. For example, we had an issue where our approval process was missing a tier 6 approver, leading to codes getting auto-denied. So I had to go in into the actual approval process and address this issue as soon as possible. Sometimes the first hour sets the tone for my day. If there's anything that is urgent that I should be doing instead of what I have planned. But for today, it's pretty calm, so I get to do my to-do list on, on my calendar. At about 9 a.m., we received a Slack from one of our marketing colleagues asking how lead theater is populated for leads. Because we had a lead that was from EMEA that was for some reason labeled with an America's theater. If you guys don't know what lead theater is, lead theater is an acronym, an acronym that are abbreviations for one or more continents that are part of a particular business region. There's EMEA, APAC, and EMER. In our instance, lead theater is controlled by process builder and custom labels. Since our instance is a little bit older, there were some duplicates in regards to the countries listed per each region. So I took some time to make sure that there were no duplicates, that we were including those inferred values, and just to make sure that the list is pretty clean. At 10, I attended a meeting with an account executive in regards to the issues they're experiencing with Salesforce. As said before, our Salesforce instance was deployed by prior admins and they no longer work in our company. So some business processes that are currently still active might no longer be relevant to our current business processes and they probably need to be replaced. So these type of meetings are very insightful as it gives us starting points on where we can improve on. Also during these times, the reps ask us how to do certain actions and this gives us some idea on what training documents we can create for our reps. 
At about 11, I worked on a screen flow that guided users on how to close lost an opportunity. All my previous videos, I think I was talking about guiding users on how to close one, an opportunity. So for this time, I'm developing on the close lost path. I make sure to think about all the relevant validation rules so that when the rep uses the flow, they will not get any flow error because they filled out a field incorrectly. At 12 p.m., I attended a weekly marketing call. Since marketing team and us, we work very closely together in regards to any Salesforce or Marketo updates that we need to do with each other. At about 1 p.m., I attended another meeting in regards to a team's request for a new record type. There are times when I attend so many meetings in one day, and there are times when I have none. On Fridays, I usually have none, which makes me happy, so I get to focus on my projects or just the tasks on hand, but today is one of those days where I just have so many meetings. Before we grant people's requests, it's good practice to make sure we know the root of the problem. Sometimes we're unknowingly applying a band-aid on a broken leg. We try to get as much context as we can on the issues our user are experiencing. After we get all the information we can get, then we can gauge how big of an issue it really is. So for this specific call, they were asking us to create a record type for this object and realized that actually creating the record type might not be the best solution and that maybe we should develop an architectural solution where this is better fitting. At 2 p.m., I did work on some knowledge-based articles. I worked on a case submitted by the support team in regards to how knowledge-based articles work. The issue involves how knowledge-based articles are sorted in terms of relevance and how it can be filtered based on the article product family. There are a lot of things that I don't know, so I do find myself Googling a lot of the answers people ask me questions to, but I found that knowledge-based articles, when searched from the case object, are sorted actually based on the article title. And this is an issue since some of our articles that are more frequently used for a relevant key term is not showing up on top of the list. At 3 p.m., I worked on an onboarding case where the onboarding team requested for some fields to be included in their case view. I also automated a task creation for when an opportunity passes a certain stage depending on how big the business is. If it's an enterprise or commercial business, I auto-assign this task to be created to this person. During this time, I also edited their lightning page to have filters on particular components. What I mean by this is, I created a small component with a list of fields for their case view, and this will only show if the relevant record has an open contract with a specific record type. At about 4 p.m., I checked the case queue to see if there are any end-of-day cases that we should address quickly. I also checked my email to see if there were any flow errors from the flow changes we did during the day and that we should pay attention to. That's pretty much my entire day. I realized that for today, I actually spent about two hours in meetings and the other six hours working on my projects. Honestly, as an admin, I feel like this happens often because before you make any change that people are requesting to, it's honestly good practice to make sure that you're understanding what the problem is. I catch myself often misunderstanding what people are requesting and I think it's because maybe English is my second language or maybe because the requests are coming in through an email or a Slack that we might not fully understand what people are requesting. I hope that makes sense. And that's pretty much it for my eight hour day. I hope that gave you guys some insight on what an admin does on a daily basis. Like I said in the beginning of this video, it always varies. And for today, I had spent two hours in those meetings, but I still definitely feel productive because it's nice developing those relationships with people and just better understanding the root of the problem. I hope that gave you guys some perspective on what I do and what you will be doing once you get into your career and good luck!